uh, good morning guys. Uh, um, today we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of a little problem with a unit that we have here. On this one, uh, it's a uh, part neutral switch on uh, Allison 2000, I believe, or 2500. I'm not sure, but I'll let you guys know. Um, this is the one that's got that part neutral switch on the inside of the transmission. It's not bolted to the outside of it. Pan has to come off to be able to get to that switch. We're going to go ahead and do the switch and the harness. Let me show you the switch and harness, guys. Well, this, uh, this here is a part neutral switch. And we're going to go ahead and do the replace that little harness on there. It goes to all your chisel and lloyd stuff like that. So let me go ahead and, uh, we already drained the oil on that pan. Let me go ahead and get that pan off and uh, look and see what we got inside. Well guys, I hope you don't mind the noise. The pressure's gone off, went off, so we're under the bus. Uh, this here, this little box right here is that your TCM, that's your transmission control module. So we're gonna go ahead and get that transmission pan off of that transmission. And we're gonna do other things too, but for now we gotta take that pan off and see if we don't find any surprises on the inside of that pan. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get started on removing that. Well guys, we got the pan off, uh, there's hardly any debris, let me show you, it's just oil, a little bit of grit, nothing major, normal, so uh, no surprises, we're going to go ahead and continue, there's a part neutral switch right here, and this little harness is going to get replaced, I already did the connector in the back, it's just, you twist it, counterclockwise and it'll pop out you trick uh, you try to put it back on and insert it and twist it clockwise and it'll just sink right in so oh I, I want to go ahead and let this drift for a while and we'll come back to it once this thing is somewhat dry so you can go ahead and take all oh, guys uh, now that we got the valve body and harness out of the way it's all shifter the lever is loose. There is a little bolt in here that I am going to use a a T25 little Torx to actually get it out of the way. I already loosened it, but. You get that little bolt out of the way. And once you do, you still can't remove this lever. So, you can't take this little part neutral switch off. So, the reason we remove that valve body is to get to. this little pin right here that one you have to actually pull out with a pair of pliers uh, it's a little tough so I can't get this on tape guys gotta use both hands well let me try there you go there's that pin. Once you get that pin out, now you'll be able to slide this lever and you can get your switch off. Alright. And the installation one is still in work. Let me uh, get that new switch and I'll be right back with you guys. Once you position the new switch in place, push this little lever back in. Right now you can leave it all loose, that's fine. Push it in, get your little pin. Oh sorry. Get your little pin. Oh, let me walk my hands real quick. Get your little pin. 
and sorry, grab the bolt and you push the pin into its horsepine little hole. You just tap it into place. That's, that's going to act as a guide for your valve body to fit in. And the valve body will keep this pin in place. It won't let it fall. Once you get that, you can go ahead and get the bolt and uh, screw this back onto that lever shaft. Uh, let me get that. I can't get that on tape. Let me, let me get that little bolt in there and I'll show you after I'm done. Well, I got that little bolt back in place, guys. I got it tightened, so let me go ahead and get that valve body positioned in place and get a couple of screws in there. And then I'll show you guys which bolts you have to uh, remove to get that valve body off. It's not all of them, it's just it's like 14 of them. So let me position that valve body and then I'll show you. Well guys, uh, we got our valve body back in place, it's not tightened, uh, you don't have to remove all those screws to make that uh, valve body come off, uh, the way it works is uh, there's only 14 bolts holding the valve, the valve body on in place, if, if for whatever reason you don't know which ones they are, all you do is you loosen all the bolts, maybe three, I don't know, maybe two turns, complete turns, and what you do is, let me see if I can show you this, what you do is, you lift, and you, you kind of play with the valve body up and down, you're going to see a whole bunch of bolts go up and down with it, and some of them stay behind, the ones that don't go up and down, Are the ones that actually have the valve body onto the transmission body so those are the ones that got to come off and well if you remove all those bolts the valve body splits in half and you might lose a couple of parts here and there so that's why we don't take them off we don't split them unless we have to let me go ahead and uh, get this valve body tightened back up and uh to get the sucker up and running, get it back in the road. All right. Well guys, that's that for the valve body. Let me go ahead and uh, get the harness ready so I can go ahead and install it. Uh, harness basically connects all these little servos and the connector comes out the back of the time machine. So I gotta get that in place. And uh, I seem to have misplaced one of these uh, pins that holds the solenoid in place. I'm gonna have to find me one before I can actually put the valve cover back on there. But let me get that harness. Let me get the harness and uh, continue. Well, this, I get, didn't get to show you this. Basically, you feed the wire, the bait connector, to the back of the solenoids, push it into place. And the reason I couldn't show you is that thing. You really have to put some pressure behind it to lock it into place. It's got some little locking pegs right there. You have to push that connector out until you hear, hear those things lock. That way the connector doesn't fly back in. The rest of it is basically just connect all the little wires back. Uh, there's one that's very, pretty much hidden. 
back here and I'll show you. Let me just get this little connector on. Get this one out of the way. And give me one second. There you go. This one up here. I couldn't show you. It's in a very, very tight little spot, but that's the first one you get. And then from there, this harness is pretty much it's already put together to where you can't really cross wires and all like that. They all fall into place. So let me show you the pin. This little pin. This is the one that I one of the ones that I lost. You put your harness in place. And this one not only holds the servo, the shift solenoid, but also the harness. So I have to find one before I finish. There's that. And the pin holds the servo and the harness in place. I need the one for this one right here. And all we gotta do now is make our connections. And there it is. This last one in the back. There you go. There's that one. There's these two, the top one. Two little solenoids. That one. And the part neutral switch. And then the one that goes back. So, let me go ahead and find that pin that I need. So I can install it. Get that valve curve back in place and get the sucker up and running. Well guys, I uh, got that oil pan cleaned out, got a new filter for it, so let me go ahead and uh, install that filter and uh, install that pan back on there, put it up with oil and see what it does. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get that done. Well guys, only thing left is to replace this little spin-on filter. And they've been using a T brand, but this time I'm going to go ahead and use an Allison filter on there. Uh, so let me get that little uh, filter wrench, spin that off, spin the new one on, and fill this thing up with oil. Well guys, uh, we went ahead and uh, finish this one off. Uh, I got the oil back in there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take it for a test drive, see how it works, but there's no leaks. It seems to be Everything seems to be okay, so we're going to take it out for a little uh, maiden voyage real quick and see what happens. Uh, I'll let you guys know what turned out. Alright. Well guys, uh, that was a uh, remove and replace a uh, transmission part neutral switch on an Allison 2000. Uh, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Like and comment.